Good morning. It is what's today? Thursday morning, and we already did school drop off. And actually, now we are at Trader Joe's, which is not super close to us. But I like to come out here a couple times a year, especially Christmas time, because I like to look for neighbor gifts here. They just have a lot of really cute, like Christmas themed products, whether it's like beauty or um, you know, household things or food related things. I always find cute things here. And then with my siblings at my parents' house, we started, I think maybe a year or two ago, filling each other's stockings. So we do a secret Santa and we exchange one gift with one sibling, but we thought, wouldn't it be fun to also fill each other's stockings? So it's just with us siblings, like us core eight, but the gift exchange is with spouses. So this is something that's just for the immediate, you know, siblings. So it's been fun just to get those little, those little things, whether it be, it could be anything like practical or silly or food or whatever. So I thought I'd look for something here too for that. And then I would like to also pop into Old Navy because they sell like my favorite kids pants, at least for my girls. They, at least they had them online and then I looked, they said they were in store, but we'll have to see. I feel like I can never really trust like the online inventory, what they say is in store. So we're gonna pop in and hopefully I can find those too. home from Trader Joe's which always has the cutest bags and popped into Old Navy like you saw and I was really happy because the things that I wanted to get the jeans for the girls were actually cheaper in person than they were online so that was pretty great they were 40% off they're just called skinny and they supposedly are made to be built in tough I don't know. And then it has an adjustable waistband. And it's nice because it's just, like there's no zipper. They're really just like jeggings, but they look like jeans. Not that my kids really have any problem with like the button. It's just easy and they really like them. So they both have this same pair that I've thrifted or found elsewhere, but they have ripped the knees. So I just wanted to replace those and then get a black pair because they don't, neither of them have any black jeans and I just think it's a nice other option. So they both got the same thing. And then Lara, I just got her these leggings. She likes wearing like pull on casual leggings. Like when we're at home, she doesn't really wear them to school. And then I found these PJs for Luke. I just thought these were too cute and he didn't have any Christmassy PJs, but I liked that these weren't like super Christmassy. He could just wear these all winter. They're just little dinosaur cookies. I just thought that was too cute. And everything was on sale. The jeans wound up being, I think, $10.99. And then the leggings were five. And these, I think, were 10. So I don't know if that was actually on sale. That might have been full price. But 10 for PJs is a pretty good deal. And especially, you know, I have two girls and two boys. So I feel like everything I buy for one, hopefully, will be able to be saved for the younger. So that works out nicely. So let me take out my Trader Joe's things. All right, so I got this grainless granola, which just sounded really good. It had a lot of like really clean ingredients in it. So I actually, so I guess it doesn't have oats. Is that the point? We actually started putting a little bit of granola in our oatmeal and it's actually really, really good. Adds some good flavor and texture. 
I don't know, we like doing that. And then bananas, and I love this broccoli and kale salad slaw. So maybe we'll have that with dinner tonight. I also got some cauliflower, which I hope to roast. And then these carrots, I just thought were too cute. So you could either roast them or just the kids like to eat them raw. And then this is one of my favorite things to get there is the Just Mango. It's dried and it's unsweetened. So it's it's easy to find the sweetened kind, but it's harder to find the unsweetened. So we actually got three of those. And then I found this brown rice medley. Looked really good. Brown rice, black barley, and daikon radish seeds. So I have no idea what that's going to taste like, but I love radishes. So if it tastes anything like that, I think it's good. And just, you know, to either mix it with plain rice or have it just by itself, just to have a little bit of a different grain option. Then I got these marinated grilled artichokes. I mentioned that salad that I like to make with the oranges and the basil. Sometimes I put this in it, and that's like a nice appetizer kind of thing to bring on Christmas. I also got this 21 seasoning salute, which I have heard so many people talk about, and I've never tried it. And it's just one of those, like, everything is kind of in it and you can kind of use it on a, a lot of different things. So just thought I'd get that to mix up, mix up some flavors. And then we just needed olive oil, so I got that. We needed mango, uh, mango, um, avocados. Then I got some polenta, which I really, really love, and I never, ever buy it. I never think about it, but then whenever it's like at a restaurant or something, I always, I love it. So I got this one, and it's just in a log, and it's already cooked, so you can kind of like slice it into discs and like kind of fry them and it's just so delicious and then i got a couple frozen things these chocolate croissants my husband loves and you just let them proof on the counter overnight and then you bake them and they're really really good and then also another kind of like christmas appetizer option or just i don't know something to stick in the freezer for an impromptu get together or again maybe christmas day these little cheese breads they look delicious and then we need ketchup I got that and I got regular carrots. And then these I'm going to use for our neighbor gifts, these decked out Christmas tree cookies. It's, it looks delicious and it's actually a great size because I also got a little book that I'm gonna give to each of them. So I'm gonna put that on top and wrap it together and I think just the size of it works out nicely. And it's easy to like stick in a mailbox in case they're not home. And then for my sibling, uh, stocking stuffers. Hopefully no one's watching this, but if you are, then then it's going to be spoiled. But I saw these Butterscotch Bits bar, and it totally made me think of Toblerone. And I haven't had a Toblerone in forever, and this just sounded so good, and it'll be easy to wrap and easy to kind of like slip down into a stocking. That was kind of my, my thought behind that. So that was everything I got at Trader Joe's. And I seriously could not have stayed at Old Navy any longer because everything was so adorable and I just was like wanting to buy everything and I had to seriously restrain myself because my kids have plenty of clothes, they don't need anything and like we have friends that are having babies and it just, I just wanted to buy everything but I know they really don't need anything, you know, clothes wise and it's just everything was so so adorable. I tried on some jeans for myself that were a little bit too big. So I even like pulled out my phone and was looking to see if I could get them in a different size online. And I almost did. And I was like, you know what? I need to stop. It's Christmas season. I shouldn't be buying for myself. I tried on a dress that was really cute. But I, again, ultimately I was like, I don't need this. I'm not going to spend the money as much as I would like to have it. I'm, you know, Try not to be buying for myself right now. So I didn't get anything for me, just for the kids. Mama. Oh, you look so handsome. Mm -hmm. He's got my sunglasses on. So it is already almost noon and we haven't had lunch yet. We've just been snacking on mango and snap peas. So Jude fell asleep in the car, so he's napping and we'll probably make some lunch right now. But seriously, if you don't really live near Trader Joe's, it kind of is like, a fun experience. I know some people, they like do their grocery shopping there all the time, but they have so many cute, like seasonal things and just interesting, like unique, um, you know, like foodie options that you don't really see in everywhere else and the prices are really great. So it's worth a trip if you don't really have one. I mean, we love Aldi and they're like similar, but Trader Joe's is definitely, it's, it's more fun in my opinion. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed seeing a couple different things that they have there. But like I said, we're gonna do eggs, maybe some avocado toast for lunch, 
and then have quiet time. All right, so breakfast is simple. Three eggs with cheese and a little avocado toast. And I put salt, pepper, and garlic on there and looks having the same. So I was just taking all the tags off of Luke's pajamas and I remembered that my mom had actually given me Christmas pajamas last, like after Christmas, I guess this year, like in January, to kind of put away for this Christmas season. So I just rounded them all up. These are so adorable. And they have a little white band at the bottom and then these little donut ones, they're super cute. And I'm pretty sure I do have PJs for Jude. I just will have to find them somewhere. But both boys are down for a nap, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to editing. So it is like just before five now. Um, we came up from school, just kind of spent some time hanging out together and um, just you know talking to the kids about their day and all that fun stuff, having some after school snacks. Um, so I'm speaking of which, feeding Jude now. And then I was uploading my video that I had edited during quiet time and Dan walks in the door. So he actually got home a little bit early, which was really nice. So he's helping me get started on dinner. I just folded a bunch of laundry and then I will help him uh, make the rest of dinner. And I haven't even like emptied the dishwasher from, um, you know, last night. So I'll do that as well. And yeah, we're just gonna get right into our, our evening routine. And if I can find the time, maybe after dinner, I would like to maybe wrap the uh, neighbor gifts now that I have both, you know, pieces of the gift that I wanted to give. Girls are tidying their bedrooms. And yeah, just kinda settling into that after school evening routine. All right, so for dinner we have pierogies with some um, sauteed onion and we get the cheddar and the onion pierogies and then some roasted cauliflower and kielbasa. And then I also threw together that um, broccoli kale slaw and it comes with all of these things, but I never use all the dressing. It's always way too much. So we're gonna have that and then sit down and eat. It's much later now, kids are all in bed. Uh, we had a good evening, we had dinner, and then we watched Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, and I can still never decide which one I like better, Home Alone 1 or Home Alone 2. They're both so good, we laugh so much when we watch them. So while we were watching, I went ahead and wrapped the um, neighbor gifts. I got four of them wrapped. We do five, like our five closest in proximity neighbors. Um, and so I got four of them wrapped and then I ran out of, well, wrapping paper and then Jude need, needed me. So um, I still have one left so I can show you what it is that we're giving. And then, um, yeah, then we got the kids ready for bed. I read them The Grinch, the you know, the full story. And it just was really nice. And I just kept thinking like, this is why I started early, why I kept things very simple so that I could, have these moments of being able to just be in the moment of whatever we're doing and not feel like, you know, that pull of like, I should be doing other things. Like, I'm just doing what I want to do right now. You know, what the Christmas things that I want to do. You know, I spend these special moments. And I feel like the kids are, I mean, every age is so sweet and so precious, but like them all right now, it's just, such a sweet time to have them the ages they are and it's just you know everything I ever wanted and in you know being a mom and thinking about Christmas time with my kids like it is right now and it's wonderful so we're just trying to soak it up but like I said I wrapped four of the neighbor gifts and the cookies that I got today were half of it and then the other half is this advent sort of devotional called The Dawning of Indestructible Joy by John Piper, who is a wonderful author. So I got those, you know, not even thinking about what paper I'm gonna wrap it in. And then I went to my stash and just grabbed one that I thought was pretty, that I thought would work. And then I realized that they both 
said joy in capital letters and in like the same color font so of course that's the one that i used to wrap it but i literally just pulled it out of my basket because i think it's pretty and then when i sat down to wrap i was like oh look at that so i ran out of the strip that i had and i tried to like put two together and i don't know if that's gonna work we'll see i might try again to uh to use this piece otherwise i'll just save it for something for the kids or a stocking or something and i think i want to try to get some red uh ribbon somewhere i don't know next time i'm at a store that would have something like that i'll just um pick some up and then I just piled them on, like stacked them on top of each other. I didn't like tape the book to the cookies or anything. It's just sitting there. So I think some ribbon would just finish it off really nicely. But that's going to do it for today. Kind of a shorter vlog today, maybe. I don't know. I can't really think about what all I filmed other than this morning. But that is just one more day of December. One day closer to Christmas. I can't even believe it's already the 10th. Crazy, crazy. So tomorrow is Friday. Looking forward to that as always. So I will be talking to you then. Take care, guys.